Have you ever gazed up at the moon and wondered how it came to be? It's a question that has puzzled humans for centuries. Some believe it was sculpted by the gods, others say it hatched from a cosmic egg, while a few even propose that it's a giant spaceship. These myths and legends, as intriguing as they may be, fall short of explaining the moon's existence scientifically. What if I told you our calm and serene moon had a violent origin? Welcome to the world of the giant impact hypothesis. Imagine a time some four and a half billion years ago. Earth, in its infancy, roams the cosmic neighborhood, a neighborhood teeming with celestial bodies of all sizes. Now picture a Mars-sized body known as Theia, hurtling through space on a collision course with Earth. This is the dramatic opening scene set by the giant impact hypothesis, a leading theory that seeks to unravel the mystery of the moon's creation. The giant impact hypothesis is a captivating narrative that has captured the attention of scientists and astronomers worldwide. It's a tale of celestial collision, of immense forces at play, and of the birth of a natural satellite that would come to significantly influence life on our planet. The hypothesis suggests that Theia, named after the Titan goddess of sight and the clear blue sky in Greek mythology, collided with Earth in a glancing blow. This wasn't a head-on collision, but rather what we could call a side swipe, causing a significant chunk of the Earth and the impacting body to be ejected into space. This catastrophic event would have caused a debris cloud to form around Earth, made up of molten rock and vaporized material. Over time, this debris gradually coalesced, forming what we now know as the Moon. It's a theory that's as dramatic as it is scientifically compelling, providing a plausible explanation for many of the Moon's unique properties and its similarities to Earth. But remember, it's a hypothesis, a proposed explanation based on limited evidence. It's not a definitive answer, but rather a compelling proposition that is continuously tested and refined as we gather more data about our moon. So next time you look up at the night sky, remember the violent, chaotic origins that the serene, glowing moon might have had. Remember the giant impact hypothesis and the Mars-sized body Theia that might have sacrificed itself for the creation of our moon. This collision, according to the hypothesis, led to the birth of our moon. Imagine the chaos of a celestial body crashing into Earth. Picture the scene, an object the size of Mars hurtling through the depths of space on a collision course with our planet. This is no ordinary meteor, we're talking about a celestial body, a planet named Theia, a rogue planet lost in the cosmic dance that found its way to our corner of the galaxy. Now let's get into the nitty-gritty. This catastrophic event wasn't just a spectacular show of cosmic fireworks. No, it was a defining moment in the history of our Earth. The force of the impact was so immense that it caused a portion of the Earth and the colliding body Theia to vaporize instantly. This wasn't a simple hit and run. It was a violent, cataclysmic event that fundamentally altered the composition and trajectory of our world. The impact was so powerful that it blasted a significant chunk of the Earth's crust into orbit. Picture that for a moment. Rocks, dust and debris all launched into the void of space, forming a ring around our wounded planet. But this wasn't just any ring. It was a ring of potential, a ring of creation. It was a chaotic, swirling mass of vaporized rock and metal spinning around the Earth, held captive by gravity. As the dust settled, the Earth started to heal. But high above, in the cold silence of space, the ring of debris began to coalesce. Tiny particles started sticking together, growing larger and larger, like a cosmic snowball effect. This was the beginning of a process that would take millions of years, a process that would eventually give birth to a new celestial body. This celestial body was not just any celestial body, it was our moon. From the chaos of destruction, 
a new form of beauty was born. The debris cloud that resulted from the cataclysmic impact was the raw material that would eventually form the moon. This event, this cataclysmic collision, was the violent birth of our closest celestial neighbor. This debris cloud was the raw material that would eventually form the moon. From chaos, a celestial body emerges. Welcome to the fourth chapter of our cosmic story, where we delve into the formation of the moon. Imagine a cloud of dust and debris, remnants of a cataclysmic impact, swirling in the darkness of space. This is the aftermath of the colossal collision between Earth and Theia. Amid this chaos, a process begins that, over several thousand years, will give birth to a celestial body we now know as the Moon. It all started with the force of gravity. Gravity, the invisible hand that shapes the cosmos, began to pull together the scattered fragments. Tiny particles began to collide and stick together, forming larger and larger chunks. This process, known as accretion, is akin to rolling a snowball down a hill, growing in size as more and more snow sticks to it. Over time, these chunks of rock and dust started to clump together, attracted by their mutual gravity. As these clumps grew larger, their gravitational pull increased, drawing in more and more debris. This process was chaotic and violent, with collisions frequently shattering the growing clumps, only for gravity to pull them back together again. Eventually, this swirling mass of debris began to take a spherical shape. As the particles continued to collide and stick together, they generated heat. This heat melted the rock, turning it into a molten mass. As this molten mass cooled and solidified, it formed the moon's crust. This process was not quick, nor was it smooth. It took several thousand years for the moon to fully form. But eventually, the chaos subsided. The debris cloud thinned out as most of the material coalesced into the moon. What remained was swept up by the Earth or ejected into space. And thus, from a violent impact, our peaceful moon was born. This serene, silvery orb that lights up our night sky is a testament to the power of gravity and the indomitable will of nature to create order from chaos. The story of the moon's formation is a tale of destruction and rebirth, a testament to the ever-changing nature of the cosmos. Let's recap the key points of the giant impact hypothesis. At the heart of this hypothesis is a catastrophic event that took place over four and a half billion years ago. Picture this, an object about the size of Mars, known as Theia, hurtling through space on a collision course with Earth. The sheer scale of this event is mind-boggling, an interplanetary collision on a scale that's hard for us to even fathom. When Theia collided with Earth, the impact was so tremendous it sent a vast cloud of debris shooting into space. This wasn't just a bit of rock and dust. We're talking about enough material to form an entire celestial body. And that's exactly what happened. Over time, this debris coalesced and formed what we now know as our moon. The formation of the moon from this debris is a key point in the giant impact hypothesis. This wasn't a slow, gradual process. It happened relatively quickly in astronomical terms. Within just a few thousand years, the debris from the impact had come together to form the moon. But it's not just about where the moon came from. The giant impact hypothesis also plays a crucial role in our understanding of the Earth. The impact with Theia didn't just give us our moon. It also had a profound effect on our planet. It's believed that the impact could have caused a significant tilt in Earth's axis, which in turn led to the seasons as we know them. This hypothesis, therefore, helps us understand not only the origin of the Moon, but also some of the fundamental aspects of our own planet. 
It's a testament to the power of scientific inquiry that we can piece together such an incredible story from billions of years ago. The giant impact hypothesis gives us a dramatic and fascinating explanation for the moon's existence. So why does the moon matter, you might ask? Well, to answer that, we must delve into the profound influence the moon has on our planet, Earth. The moon is not just an object of beauty that lights up our night sky. It plays a crucial role in the grand scheme of Earth's ecosystem. For one, the moon's gravitational pull generates the ebb and flow of the ocean tides. This lunar influence helps to circulate warm and cold ocean currents, which in turn affects the climate and weather patterns around the globe. But the moon's significance doesn't end there. Its presence also contributes to stabilizing the Earth's axial tilt, ensuring a relatively stable climate, which has been essential for life to flourish. The moon also provides a certain level of protection. It acts as a partial shield, absorbing some of the meteoric impacts that could otherwise strike Earth. This protective role may have been vital during the early stages of life on our planet, providing a safer environment for life to develop and evolve. Finally, the moon's phases and its illumination of the night sky have guided species for millions of years. From the navigation of sea turtles to the migration patterns of birds, the moon is a beacon in the darkness. So next time you look up at the moon, remember the violent event that led to its creation and the significant role it plays in our lives.